Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Chainlink. Chainlink could be on its way down in wave C of Z of 2 in the yellow scenario to possibly target the $6.90 area, which is the area around the 78.6 retracement of the next of the previous larger rally. So it's a key support level. Um, as I said, we could be on our way down to that kind of support area there or support level. Um, important is though that to keep this scenario alive, the price needs to hold below the last high, that B wave high at $11.70. You can see that on the chart, that I'm tracking this as a so-called one-two setup to the downside in the yellow scenario. It is a, pl a plausible scenario. And we have to say that, you know, the reaction to link here to the yellow support area is quite weak so far, um, especially compared to what Bitcoin did today and the remaining altcoin sector. But still, you know, this is a one-two setup to the downside. It's a reasonable one, obviously only the micro level. The nearest resistance area, so let's talk about Fibonacci resistance. The nearest resistance area is located for a wave two between the $10.80 level and the $11.40 level. So we're dealing with the area here. Um, see, yeah, around uh, yeah, 10, 10.80 and 11.40. So between the 38.2 retracement and the 78. Point, um, six retracements so it's a wave two okay corrective rally and i will provide um additional levels should we see a break above 1140 because then it indicates we might actually be on our way higher at least it would be the first indication at the moment you know the price is could really be in this local downtrend in the in the yellow part you know let's say the yellow pathway to the downside in wave c of z of two um Wave 2 corrective rally could be unfolding. Again, above 11.40, that 1.2 setup will become less likely. Above that 11.70 level, it will be invalidated. And then we will talk about, yeah, higher prices around the, yeah, probably. I mean, if the yellow, if, if the white scenario, sorry, if the white wave C of 3 is unfolding, the 138% extension is important. They are $17.50. So this is, um, this is something to watch, $17.50 which would, however, be, you know, the first ideal target for a third wave. And there is a lot of work the bulls need to do. A lot of work. The yellow count also has problems. I mean, I'm not going to say this has to be the yellow count, right? The white count is a plausible diagonal pattern, but the yellow count has has problems. It's just, we just need some kind of a break of resistance to indicate that the bulls are taking the lead and the levels should be clear. Uh, if you want to trade the long side, I mean, the invalidation point for the bullish case, the directly bullish case, the micro count that an internal B wave bottomed, uh, the invalidation point is the 10th 26 level. So the Thursday low. So it's it's quite straightforward. You know, if you want to trade for like, you know, the 138% extension at 1750, set the stop below that low uh, from, an, from an elite wave point of view. If that's the right thing for you to do, only your trading plan will tell you, okay? Um, so I'm not going to give you financial advice, but that is what Elliott Wave traders would be, you know, would do from a, re you know, it would be reasonable because that's the invalidation point. Now, I'm not saying this is a great setup, the white count, um, because what I would like to see for further clarity is a break above resistance first and a one-two setup, so a rally and then the first higher low as a pullback. But overall, yeah, that's the update about Link. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.